Every once in a while, a story comes along that sends out ripples, and no one knows how those ripples will change lives. It happened when a car careened onto a baseball field in Sanford as kids were playing a game. The whole scene was caught on video. The driver hit and killed a 68-year-old man, Douglas Parkhurst, who was there to see his son, grandson play ball. A documentary two years in the making was recently released about the incident and the bizarre twist it brought to light. 207's Beth McAvoy spoke with journalist Tom Juno, who made the film. Rob and Peggy for a day, maybe two, after Douglas Parkhurst ran from the stand onto the field at Goodall Park in what seemed like an attempt to stop an erratic driver, he was hailed a hero. But his death revealed a secret. Parkhurst had been involved in another hit and run some 50 years prior that killed a four-year-old girl in Fulton, New York. It was this bizarre twist of fate that caught attention of award-winning journalist Tom Juneau. Heroes. We know one when we see one. Or think we do. And what about the heroes themselves? Why do they do what they do? Is heroism enough when the hero has a secret and a past? I'm just so fascinated with how you even got turned on to this story to begin with. Easy answer. My wife. She knows me well. She knows the kind of stories I like to do. And I, th I think that it was um, the original story was on uh, CNN. And she told me, she was like, you have to look at that. And this was in June sometime. And I was up in, in Sanford within the month. I think I went in early July of 2018. What were your impressions of Sanford and of the community there? Well, so I had never really spent time in a place like Sanford. I had never really spent time in a mill town that had, you know, like a prosperous past and a, a sort of narrow present and future. So the thing that I really loved about Sanford was the persistence and spirit of the town and the way that that persistence and spirit really sort of came to be centered around Goodall Park. Goodall Park is where the parents of Sanford still bring their children. The place where the children go to play and learn to dream. Even after what happened, you know, with Douglas Parkhurst on the field, when you went to Sanford and went to a ball game, you know, on a Friday night under the lights, I mean, you knew exactly why the original accident, why the hit and run on June 1st, you know, 2018, when Douglas Parkhurst was killed, you know why that was such a big deal and why that wounded so many people, because the town put so much, so much emphasis and so much hope into, you know, the simple, the simple ball games at Goodall Park. I had never seen like a old ballpark have such a position of prominence in a town until I went to Sanford, and it was really cool. For me, the story really was at its core about the secret that Douglas Parkhurst sure. carried for so many decades that he had been involved in the hit and run that killed the four-year-old Carolee Ashby. Doug Parkhurst was a man with a dark secret he didn't reveal to anyone, not even his family. The brutal irony is that his act of heroism at Goodall Park is what exposed his secret to the world. Like everybody who talks about the story has like a, you know, assigns a different meaning to it. Some, you know, for some people it's about fate, for some it's about karma, et cetera, et cetera. Some, for, you know, for some it's about justice. But for me, it's always been about the secret. Doug Parkhurst was 18 years old when he hit Carolee Ashby and killed her on Halloween night, 1968. Carolee Ashby was four years old and holding hands with her sister Darlene, who was 15 when she was hit and killed in Fulton, New York. It knocked her right out of her boots. I know that her boot was there with her ice cream. For me to be standing there and inches from her and have her hand and not 
have her be gone when I looked down. It's just, it just all turned into a screaming and looking for her and finally spotted her down the road, ran to her. If he had told people about it, there would have been closure and there would have been healing that started then. I mean, he probably would have gone to jail for six months or a year at the time, but it would have been over. Because he decided to keep his secret, because the Parker's family decided to keep the secret, it was never over. It was, it just kept on going and going and going for 50 years. And it changed the lives of everybody it affected. Um, not just Douglas Parkhurst, not just Darlene Ashby, but also their kids and, and other family members. It was a, the story was really sort of a, a lesson to me about, about secrets, about the, about the danger and the toxicity of them.